Possess the land, possess the land, possess the land. What are you waiting for? It's time to rise. What are you waiting for? Solomon. The Lord hates false scales, but he loves accurate weights. Proud and boastful people will be shamed, but wisdom stays with those who are modest and humble. Good people are guided by their honesty, but crooks who lie and cheat will ruin themselves. Money is worthless when you face God's punishment. But living right will save you from death. Doing right makes life better for those who are good. But the wicked are destroyed by their own wicked ways. Doing right sets honest people free. But people who can't be trusted are trapped by their greed. When the wicked die, all their hopes are lost. Everything they thought they could do comes to nothing. Good people escaped from trouble. But 
the wicked come along and are trapped by it. With their words, hypocrites can destroy their neighbors. But with what they know, good people can escape. When good people are successful, the whole city is happy. And they all shout with joy when evil people are destroyed. Blessings from the honest people living in a city will make it great. But the things evil people say can destroy it. Stupid people say bad things about their neighbors. Wise people know to be quiet. People who tell secrets about others cannot be trusted. Those who can be trusted keep quiet. A nation without wise leaders will fall. Many good advisors make a nation safe. You will be sorry if you promise to pay a stranger's debt. Refuse to make such promises and you will be safe. A kind and gentle woman gains respect, but violent men gain only wealth. People who are kind will be rewarded for their kindness, but cruel people will be rewarded with trouble. The work of evil people is all lies, but those who do right will receive a good reward. People who do what is right are on their way to life, but those who always want to do wrong are on their way to death. The Lord hates those who love to do evil, but he is pleased with those who try to do right. The truth is, evil people will be punished, and good people will be set free. A beautiful woman without good sense is like a gold ring in a pig's nose. What good people want brings more good. The evil people's want brings more trouble. Some people give freely and gain more. Others refuse to give and end up with less. Give freely and you will profit. Help others and you will gain more for yourself. People curse a greedy man who refuses to sell his grain. But they bless a man who sells his grain to feed others. People are pleased with those who try to do good. Those who look for trouble will find it. Those who trust in their riches will fall like dead leaves, but good people will blossom. Those who cause trouble for their families would inherit nothing but the wind. A foolish person will end up as a servant to one who is wise. What good people produce is like a life-giving tree. Those who are wise give new life to others. If good people are rewarded here on earth, then surely those who do evil will also get what they deserve. Proverbs 11, 1 through 31. Amen. Hey, Laka Lili Ministries here, private and personal chef services. And what? Yes, we are praying with you, delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what? Period in Christ Jesus' name. We will continue with the day, what? Day 11, where we are continuing to hashtag possess the land, hashtag Project Jericho, and hashtag project noah possessing the land that god has ordained for us to have and in this land we have wisdom lady a wisdom is in this land and the book of proverbs is filled with wisdom that could continue to lead you in a direction that will align you with god's kingdom project jericho we are breaking down the walls of our hearts and in our minds with a great shout of a wisdom from the word of God. Hashtag Project Noah. 
Noah was the only one dedicated to hearing the voice of the Most High God during his time. And that's why he was the only one that God didn't wipe out. God saved him, secured him, protected him and his family along with animals in order for them to see the other side of the destruction of the earth. And don't you want to see the other side of destruction? Because destruction comes from our wicked ways, but we get peace when we stay aligned with the Most High God. So now we will continue to align ourselves with day 11. Day 11. Day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We will continue to consume the Word of God. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you stepping into the joy of the Lord, stepping into the peace of the Lord, stepping into the wisdom of the Lord, stepping into everything that brings us into alignment of the Lord in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father thank you for everything that you've done for us and everything that you're going to continue doing for us Heavenly Father we're going to continue to pray for Haiti Haiti needs your peace Haiti needs to step into your peace Haiti needs to step into your love Haiti needs to step into everything that is of God so that we can continue to walk in wisdom and know right from wrong and do everything that pleases your sight in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father, I pray we do not stand in the way of cheating. I pray we stand in the way of living in honesty in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, your word says, Proud men end in shame, but the meek become wise. A good man is guided by his honesty, Heavenly Father. A good man is guided, a good man or a woman is guided by his honesty. A wicked woman or man is destroyed by his dishonesty. I pray we stand in the way of being the good man and woman that you called us to be in the name of Christ Jesus. I pray we do not tap into wickedness. Instead, I pray we stand. We stand. We stand to be the good man and woman you your, your word claims us to be in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to stand and aim to look like our Heavenly Father in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, you are a good, good Father. I pray we remain your humble, good children who you breathe new life in in Christ Jesus name your new life gave us new life here on earth we're no longer our wicked self but we've managed to gain wisdom to do hashtag project possess the land to do hashtag project Jericho to do hashtag project Noah in order for us to come into alignment with the wisdom that comes from only you only you when we're faced with temptation is only you that can deliver us when breaking the chain is only you that can help us do what we need to do for you in Christ Jesus name heavenly father you are the good good father that breathed new life within us so continue to breathe your life within us heavenly father it renews every day heavenly father we know do not want to be wicked because heavenly father if we choose wickedness heavenly father it says we shall fall beneath our loads of sin and heavenly father who can bear their load of sin if it wasn't for the blood of christ jesus heavenly father i pray we remain upright and be directed by our honesty in christ jesus name heavenly father the evil man's treachery is his undoing heavenly father may we stand as good men and women in the name of christ jesus the good man and woman goodness delivers him in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father I pray all our hopes do not perish like a wicked man all of their hopes are based upon the earthly things of this earth but Heavenly Father we know as believers that there's an invisible realm and whoever governs your invisible realm is what is going to give you what you need in your life and father god because we pull on your hem of garment 
I pray we continue to remember that is your hem of garment that we will be made whole. If we touch the hem of your garment, we will be made whole. Heavenly Father, rescue your good, humble men and women. You save good men and women from danger while letting the wicked fall into it. Because of your grace and mercy, we do not fall in Christ Jesus' name. We will gain wisdom whether we fall or win. You are in control God. Heavenly Father, I pray our wor- words rebuild, encourage, and help one another. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I pray our cur- our words rebuild, encourage, and help one another in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray our words rebuild, encourage, and help one another in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, evil words destroy anything in its path. Heavenly Father, the whole city celebrates a good man's success and also the godly, godless man's death. Heavenly Father, I pray we are not driven downhill by the moral decay of the wicked. I pray we remain a good influence and cause our city to prosper in Christ Jesus' name. I pray that we remain the salt of the earth that you created us to be. Heavenly Father, we will make it personal and say, I pray I remain a good influence and cause my city to prosper in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we aim to not quarrel with our neighbor. I pray we hold our tongues in order to maintain our friendship with our neighbor neighbors in Christ Jesus name heavenly father I pray we remain trustworthy and quiet any gossip that would take us away from you in Christ Jesus name I pray it fall in Christ Jesus name it fall when it hits wise people ears in Christ Jesus name I pray we do not spread any gossip in Christ Jesus name instead we remain trustworthy in all we do in Christ Jesus name thank you Lord for it all the fruits that come from you I pray we stand in wise counseling wise counseling is yours our safety heavenly father and we hide under the shadow of the almighty for without wise leadership a nation is in trouble i pray we go grow glow in you in christ jesus name in the leadership that you continue to put above us in christ jesus name for the government is on your shoulder and you will continue to give them the right ideas the right influence the right words the right everything in order for them to put your people at peace whenever disaster attacks or whatever the case may be heavenly father no matter the circumstance we know that you are the one above it you are the one that's going to govern it and you are the one that's going to say peace be still as soon as long as we continue to tug on the hem of your garment heavenly father if we ought to vouch i pray we vouch for how amazing you are in christ jesus name how amazing you are to have the master plan to have your only son your only son come down and die for the people that you know will have faith will activate their faith will have faith enough to say hey we are doing this in order for us to glorify the name of the most high god heavenly father our own soul is nourished when we are kind It is destroyed when we are cruel. Heavenly Father, I pray that we are kind to no matter what is in front of us, whether it's a plant, a person, or whatever it is. I pray we are kind because even when you speak kind words to a plant, the plant knows to grow from the amazing words that you're telling it. So Heavenly Father, I pray our words be kind to our neighbors, be kind to our children, be kind to our husbands. Be kind to our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, whatever it is, Heavenly Father, I pray our words be kind in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, thank you, Heavenly Father. You give us the gift of kindness. That comes from you. Heavenly Father, that comes from you. That comes from you. Kindness towards everyone in the name of Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray we live a good man's life because his reward lasts forever. You gave us eternal life. That is what you give your people. That is one of your promises for those who believe in you. Heavenly Father, the wicked get rich for just a moment. For just a moment, but our reward lasts forever, and that's eternal life in you in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, give us the ability to remain on the plan on the path of a good man, because on this side gives us life and life more abundantly in you in Christ Jesus' name. If we remain wicked, this is spiritual death. 
Spiritual death is ours. Spiritual death is ours if we remain wicked. So Heavenly Father, take out all the roots of a wickedness within our hearts and in our minds so we can walk into the in the wisdom that you give us in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, give us the ability to re- remain amazed at the spiritual life you want to give us, the spiritual life you have within us, the spiritual life that the Holy Spirit continues to convict us with in each, each and every single day. The Holy Spirit convicts us whether we're doing something right or wrong. Which choice are we making? Are we choosing right or are we choosing wrong? Heavenly Father, you dislike all who are stubborn, but you delight in those who are good in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray you take delight in your people as we consume your word day by day in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, Solomon Proverbs continue to guide us in the journey called life through the eyes of a wise man who committed to you and the wisdom that comes from you. His wisdom says evil men will not go unpunished forever. Evil men will not go unpunished. So why would we remain in the path of wickedness if there's punishment in that path? We want the path that gives peace. We want the path that gives correction. We want the path that gives humbleness. Heavenly Father, you will rescue your children. Heavenly Father, it is you. We it it is in you we find strength to be wise in all we do in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, your blessings and help goes for a thousand generations. Your blessings and help goes for a thousand generations. Is one of your promises. Not only am I blessed, but the, the generations that's coming after me are blessed. The generations after me will set the joy of the Lord, will step into the joy of the Lord. The generations after me will step into the peace of the Lord. The generations after me will step into the love of the Lord. The generations after me will step into the gentleness of the Lord in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father. I pray we remain God-fearing women and men of God who have discretion and modesty as we continue to glorify and magnify your holy name. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything you continue to do for us in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, the wicked stand in your wrath. The wicked stand in your wrath. Just as us believers, we have promises. There's promises for wickednesses too. And it says, Heavenly Father, the wickedness stand in your wrath while your people stand in the joy of the Lord, being our strength in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to water others as we water ourselves in Christ Jesus' name. We cannot give from an empty cup. So, Father God, continue to fill us up, God. Fill us up, God, so we can continue to overflow to the people that continue to need a touch from you, a love from you, a peace from you, a joy from you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for it all. Thank you for the for it all, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I pray we continue to water others. We will water others no matter the circumstance. We will water others as we continue to water ourselves. Heavenly Father, I pray we lack nothing. I pray people respect our business prices as we built everything you set before us in Christ Jesus name I pray we are referred first when conducting business because they feel the presence of God in all we do may we represent our business with excellence in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father I pray we do not search to be cursed because of our wickedness I pray we search to be good because there is favor when we serve the Lord there is favor when we search for God. There is favor when we allow the Holy Spirit to manifest inside of us so we could continue to walk in the correction that leads us to life. Heavenly Father, I pray we do not trust in money because we will go down. I pray we trust in God so we can allow our life to flourish as a tree given life. To flourish as a tree given the Trinity glory for all they have done for us, all they have brought us through, all they will carry us through, all they will continue to bring us through in Christ Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I pray we do not allow anger or resentment in our homes in Christ Jesus' name. I pray we continue to dwell 
in your joy and peace in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father I pray we continue to aim to be godly men and women growing as a tree that bears life giving fruit and be winners of souls and continue to gain wisdom in all we do in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father thank you for your wisdom we see right from wrong and choose the right path because Christ chose the right path and now we are victorious we are victorious in Christ Jesus and we are in the series called being victorious in Christ Jesus name we will remain with the victory because the victory was already won he said it was finished 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 and bowed his head and allowed his flesh to go to sleep and his soul to arise to the master that created us in the first place hallelujah heavenly father thank you for this plan this amazing plan that continues to reap rewards that continues to reap souls that continues to transform souls that continues to illuminate our souls heavenly father heavenly father you are the god of rewards i pray we remain in the path of grace and mercy that's a reward within itself because if we didn't have grace and mercy where would we be where would we be if we didn't have grace and mercy heavenly father your wrath is for the wicked so if we didn't have grace and mercy and your wrath is for the wicked so that means we would have been in the path of wrath heavenly father thank you thank you thank you thank you i pray we remain on the solid rock we stand i pray we remain on the solid rock we stand which is the blood of christ jesus that is the solid rock that will never break but trans- Transform us and renew our mind. Heavenly Father, thank you for it all. I pray we continue to go, grow, glow in Christ Jesus' name. I pray we continue to activate the blood of Christ within our life, activate our faith, activate our love, activate our joy, activate our peace, activate our gentleness, activate our humbleness, activate every fruit of the Spirit. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lock, thank you for allowing us to pray with you. Lock High Lily Ministries, private and personal ship services. And we are praying with who? Yes, you. We are praying with you, delivering kingdom business. What to the what? 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 <laughs> Period. In Christ Jesus' name. Being victorious with Christ Jesus. In this segment, we pray and declare the Bible, spiritual songs, and hymns. We do this to remain aligned with the victory that comes with the blood of Christ Jesus. Thanks for watching. Be blessed.